Populating data in your app can be a lot of tedious and boring work. With Rowy, you can set default values to initialize any column once a new row is added. This can be useful for multiple reasons, such as reducing manual data entry or making it easier to perform queries. In this demo, we have a column that shows the status of a simplified Canada application. Once a new row is added, the status field is empty. We can't filter for new applications as the initial status field has no value. And if we try to sort by the status column, all the rows with no status would just disappear. To fix this issue, we can use default values. To set a default value, we can go into the column settings. As you can see here, default values have four different modes. Undefined, which is the default behavior of any field. Undefined does not store any key or value into the document for the column. That's the reason rows with undefined values do not show up when sorting or filtering by the specific field. The null type is used to solve this problem by allowing the column to be sortable without having to set an actual value. You can also customize the initial value using a static type. It can initialize the column with a specific value. For the purpose of this example, we want all applications to start with a pending status. To do this, we can set the status column to pending. So when a new row is added, it starts with pending by default. Now, all the new rows added get auto-assigned to pending status. Default values also have a dynamic type that allows for programmatically setting of the values once a, once a row is created. It can be anything from checking other values in the row or any other document in the database or even an external service through an API call. To help us automate a part of the application screening process, let's randomly assign each new applicant an assessment. We'll keep it simple and assume there are five tasks. In a real use case, you can query an assessment collection and assign from there. Once we save the changes, we'll need to wait for a new cloud function to be built as the new dynamic values are computed on a server's cloud function. We can now use the generated default value to filter through the data on ROWI or use the values in your own app to indicate the status to your users. The possibilities here are endless. You can find more examples on ROWI docs. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.